President Mahama, a grantee interview to Kwasi Prat. Didn't come per se. You didn't interview, no? Mumu Bona Gana Futi. I already have more for my and I in tears. I interviewed Nafi. Me, we are Macamwaz. Yeah, the Hong Kong or Eddie Abro. May Kai will say any Donable Kennedy or Hene Japon and I didn't come up. Now, interview, no, in tea, Nafi and Twasso. Aba. How did the strong, resilient economy that Nana Kufadu and Baumia talked about crumble in the space of, let's say, six months? I mean, they were waxing lyrical about how strong this economy was and things have never been so good for Ghana. I mean, how come within six months of just a, a, a coronavirus pandemic, the whole economy has collapsed completely? We are facing the worst economic situation probably in the entire history of, I wouldn't even say probably, in the entire history of the Fourth Republic. The economy has never been this bad. And you see, when you have a hole and you're hiding it, you understand? Eventually, when reality catch up, catches up, you will find that that hole will be exposed. There's been a hole in this economy, and I've, I've kept saying it, this is not the first time I'm going to say it. The finance minister, who is the cousin of the president, has been cooking the books since 2017. He has this way of, and it's the first time we're having this strange uh, presentation of budget. Our budget numbers from 1992 to date are the budget numbers for everybody, for parliament, for the international donor organization, for everybody. And those are the numbers that are presented to the world. This finance minister comes and he has liabilities, big ones. Instead of calculating them and putting them in the budget, he brings them to the bottom and puts them at footnotes. And so he doesn't factor them in the budget. And so he can give you a deficit number that looks good. He can get, give you a debt to GDP ratio that looks good. You know, he can give you, you know, all his other fiscal statistics that look good. But as soon as you add the, the, the liabilities, one was the financial sector clean out, and two is the energy sector debt. The energy sector debt, today he owes the um, independent power producers a loan, $1.5 billion. $1.5 billion. Those are the figures he's now put in the budget that are showing the kinds of numbers that are, you know. And so he's been engaged in subterfuge. You know, and sometimes very criminal subterfuge. I'll give you another example. In 2019, they didn't meet the domestic revenue target. You know what Oforiata did? He made GRA go and borrow money from commercial banks and presented it and said, we met the revenue target. So when coronavirus st st uh, struck, the commercial banks have been deducting the loan that they gave to show good figures for 2019. That is why the economy is worse than it is, because any revenue that comes, the commercial banks are taking their money back. You know, and so some of these things have been very criminal, and I'm surprised that Professor Day, as chairman of GRE, could connive to do something as criminal as this. The president knows about it. He's done nothing about it, you know. And so, yes, the economy is in a bad state. We handed him a much better economy. You know, growth had been projected at 8% for 2017. They had nothing to do with that growth. It had been projected. World Bank IMF had all said that in 2018, the economy was going to grow at 8% because of the work that we had done in, in, in 2017, because of the work that we had done in 2016. I left him $300 million in the stabilization fund for a day such as this when Corona struck. And it, we, the stabilization fund is used to ameliorate economic shocks. And so I left him $300 million in that fund. I left him $270 million in the sinking fund so that when the COFO euro bond became due, there will be money to pay for it. I left him $270 million in the Ghana Infrastructure Investments uh, Fund. I left him two new oil fields, revenue from two new oil fields. All the development of infrastructure that I did in this country in my four years as president was with only the Jubilee 
field, one oil field. And even then, one oil field, there was a problem with the FPSO turret. And so they had to reduce production. And so he's got three, four, five times more oil revenue in his period than I got. You know, but what is there to show for it? Virtually nothing. And look. I was going to say that the video is a good thing. I was going to say that the video is a good thing. I was going to say that the video is a good thing. I was going to say that the video is a good thing. I was going to say that the video is a good thing. I was going to say that the video is a good thing. I was going to say that the video is a good thing. I was going to say that the video is a good thing. I was going to say that the video is a good thing. I was going to say that the video is a When Baumia talked about crumble in the space of how this is six months, the strong I mean, resilient the economy about about how strong how this economy Baumia was, talked about and crumble things have never been so good in the space of I mean, how this is six months. Six months of just, I mean, they were waxing lyrical about how strong this economy was, and things have never been so good for Ghana. I mean, how come within six months of just a, a, a coronavirus pandemic, the whole economy has collapsed completely? We are facing the worst economic situation probably in the entire history of, I would even say probably, in the entire history of the Fourth Republic. The economy has never been this bad. And you see, when you have a hole and you're hiding it, you understand? Eventually, when reality catch up, catches up, you will find that that hole will be exposed. There's been a hole in this economy, and I've, I've kept saying it, this is not the first time I'm going to say it. The finance minister, who is the cousin of the president, has been cooking the books since 2017. He has this way of, and it's the first time we're having this strange uh, presentation of budget. Our budget numbers from 1992 to date are the budget numbers for everybody, for parliament, for the international donor organization, for everybody. And those are the numbers that are presented to the world. This finance minister comes and he has liabilities, big ones. Instead of calculating them and putting them in the budget, he brings them to the bottom and puts them at footnotes. And so he doesn't factor them in the budget. And so he can give you a deficit number that looks good. He can give, give you a debt to GDP ratio that looks good. You know, he can give you, you know, all his other fiscal statistics that look good. But as soon as you add the, the, the liabilities, one was the financial sector clean out, and two is the energy sector debt. The energy sector debt, today he owes the um, independent power producers a loan, $1.5 billion. $1.5 billion. Those are the figures he's now put in the budget that are showing the kinds of numbers that are, you know. And so he's been engaged in subterfuge. You know, and sometimes very criminal subterfuge. I'll give you another example. In 2019, they didn't meet the domestic revenue target. You know what Oforiata did? He made GRA go and borrow money from commercial banks and presented it and said, we met the revenue target. So when coronavirus st st uh, struck, the commercial banks have been deducting the loan that they gave to show good figures for 2019. That is why the economy is worse than it is, because any revenue that comes, the commercial banks are taking their money back. You know, and so some of these things have been very criminal, and I'm surprised that Professor Ade, as chairman of GRE, could connive to do something as criminal as this. The president knows about it. He's done nothing about it, you know. And so, yes, the economy is in a bad state. We handed him a much better economy. You know, growth had been projected at 8% for 2017. They had nothing to do with that growth. It had been projected. World Bank IMF had all said that in 2018, the economy was going to grow at 8% because of the work that we had done in, in, in 2017, because of the work that we had done in 2016. I left him $300 million in the stabilization fund for a day such as this when Corona struck. And it, we, the stabilization fund is used to ameliorate economic shocks. And so I left him $300 million in that fund. I left him $270 million in the sinking fund so that when the COFO euro bond became due, there will be money to pay for it. I left him $270 million in the Ghana Infrastructure Investments uh, Fund. 
I left him two new oil fields, revenue from two new oil fields. All the development of infrastructure that I did in this country in my four years as president was with only the Jubilee field, one oil field. And even then, one oil field, there was a problem with the FPSO turret, and so they had to reduce production. And so he's got three, four, five times more oil revenue in his period than I got. You know, but what is there to show for it? Virtually nothing. And look at the kind of figures you're talking about. You know, debt service and wages are more than 143% of domestic uh, 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 the revenue. You know, how could this have happened? It couldn't have happened overnight. So it means that they were criminally, you know, hiding the true state of the economy from Ghanaians. And then coronavirus comes and they suddenly say, oh, this is the state of the economy. It's in a mess. You know, but how did we end here? You said, yet the Sikas were come there. Where is the Sika? Are we not still sitting on that money? Where is the gold? And the worst thing is that you kind of try to surreptitiously, you know, take our gold royalties, you know, get your family uh, to get involved and set up some uh, company in a tax haven and mortgage our gold royalties for the next 15 years for $500 million. And I've said that they've created a vortex, and the vortex is swallowing money like anything. If that $500 million had come, it wouldn't have done anything. We won't get anything tangible for it. It would have just been swallowed in his dead vortex. It's time to get him out, get all the, you know, level-headed people in this country to sit around the economy and fix it. I faced a, a, a problem with the economy as a result of the single spine. The single spine was in, um, inherited from the Kufu administration, and President Mills, you know, started to deal with it. Uh, at the time, uh, Governor Dufo was the finance minister. And so we did the negotiations until 2012. And then 2012, we started paying the single spine plus the arrears. And so in 2012, we were spending more than 73% of total revenue on wages and compensation alone and had only 23%, 27% of revenue left for everything, goods and services, capital expenditure, everything, you know. And so we've been faced with something like that before. What did we do? We called the Sinti Forum. You remember Sinti Forum? PV Obing was very active in that. We invited, we wanted to achieve consensus behind our economic program. So we invited all the stakeholders. Everybody was there. The only people who refused to attend were the New Patriotic Party. They actually issued a caveat that any of their members who attended would be sanctioned severely. And so some of them had accepted to come, but at the last minute, because of the party sanction, I mean, how unpatriotic can you be? So they refused to come. But we held the Sinti Forum. Out of the Sinti Forum came our homegrown fiscal consolidation policy. And eventually that became the basis for our negotiations with the IMF, which led to the program that we went to, into. Because see, by the time we left office, in 2016, I'll tell you this, most Ghanaians don't know. We financed the budget from our own revenues. We didn't borrow one CD from the central bank. The first time in Ghana's history. Everything that we financed the budget with in 2016, we did zero central bank financing. This had put the economy on a platform where, I mean, if the uh, incoming administration, the NADO's administration, had taken over with the additional oil revenues and things, we would have just continued fiscal consolidation with growth. And you would have felt the prosperity within the system. Instead, they jettisoned everything and decided to go on their own track. This uh, financial Minister, you know what he's interested in. All he's interested in is going on the bond market and borrowing money because he benefits from it indirectly. His company is at the bottom of borrowing all these euro bonds. He's borrowed nine billion dollars from the bond market in four years. And every bond he floats, Data Bank makes money out of it through proxies and other things, you know. And so this is clearly conflict of interest. The president knows about this, you know. And that's why he says, I'm too old to be corrupt. I'm not going to steal your money. Because he knew his relatives would steal the money for him. And that's exactly what's happening. You know, he can go to a plush retirement because of Oyata and Gabi and everybody will look after him. Bumpty and Co. would all look after him, you know. And so, yes, we have a broken economy, but it's time for the person who broke it to leave so that somebody can come and fix it. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Ghana for Mutier, dear President Mahamaka, 
na trotro for a mo pese mo call demonstration because ndc for a shake a year propaganda and the person we explaining you will be no mutie a year president mahama or say or can secretly say um free a mail be respond yeah i'm starting from the china yeah it's a new car about gabby and the bomb team bomb team finance minister mm. and President Mahama, a real film, said, All call one loose election crowd or sign box site. A man in me up, Ibrahim. Waka, Bounty, Gabi. And now, I would train Kakrana, may share that until coming to my dear quickly now. Omon share the microphone on fire. And my mayor, Kai say, you go so I hear your same registration. No, and T. Seuni Ugana card, get your Ghana card and then do your registration. Franco Trading Enterprise, here, car phones and accessories. I gonna have money. D. Kai main office, no other bracket, any rocks this cinema anymore. Of course, Fourth Street, it will soon so you or circle, a band or door rise. Fraser 246 422 338. I feel to us, mommy. Yeah, okay. President Kufuado, the Bushi and Fonie. Oh, Mahama, who knew I'm going to be 25? Ghana for Embra, NDC lose election. And we'll sign a Yima Boxite. Ghana Boxite, you know, the man in Ria Ibrahim. Who knew I'm a new ma, oh my year, we're Ghana. NDC may be banned in China, or him will be in her castle themselves. Now, who call President Mahama? Was in Romania. A man of parliament. Now, the view of a Bobby welfare, NDC welfare, no Bobby Sian. And next, President Mahama, who by a vice, a year president, you are the richest person in NDC. That is why NDC for Sulu said, We were contesting because of Fessy Kadama. President Mahama, you call your 2001, you know, call parliament. No, I call Bobby Sian from NDC for welfare account. And we'll go to How come so be a vice president? Am I a president? One term. You are the richest person in NDC. All big, big businesses are a common. Nientia, NDC for Bufu, yeah. Omu Tutia, and Oman Kotwaba. Hey, oh, Mahama, you're busy. And now, um, 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 should equally be punished for what you did because you did worse than a good for running a bush for called the enemy at 25. Me, you could be your friend of Peter Insia, one last born Adam Zemaha Mose, and then a Kojia Kwanisika Oko Boom. Now, all you see, Mahama did to intimidate Peter and when you just when you are in the park, Casa Unia Banifia will see what airport hills. Send what he a pong low as any. We know everything, but you know, I'm not envious of anybody. Do no problem. And but or starting all casa as if say we're Angela. We need to talk. Gun of all. Why MPP especially? Why should I be doing Yabuabin's job? This is the work of Yabuabin. To come out as a communicator, director. To respond accordingly, and I'm responding to Mahama for you people to see what you say. I say, the secret in his say, or no, Mahama, Emra 2016, no budget, no of financing without donor support, everything domestically. Mm. Your yeah, he did very well. But won't you hear what Mahama did? He introduced over 20 new taxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He introduced over 20 new taxes. None of one year, more must he left him to be done. I brought in the way a team and this is one peg on a year. The very thing or no say or yet a year domestic finance and analysis a year budget a taxes one koji bibian a taxes. Namunji a taxes no from eight years of. Mills Mahama, 20, 2009. I'm about to 2016. Now, Ghana, taxes are GG of 4.299 billion. Mahama in eight years, 
AJ tax is 29 billion. The increase is 577.5 percent taxes increased, and the increase he did not expand the tax netto. Mm -hmm. The very few people now who um, tear taxes. Omoa, na na etia sa taxes we. He was burdened. They were burdened with Muhammad's taxes. Now, only for now, I say, yadi he levy baya monthi bi dami tiye diye. Now, at tiye am I be free? First, I say increase in VAT rates from two point five to fifteen percent in twenty fourteen. I am not a man. So far, I am high. I am your one. One. In position of five percent VAT and nature uh, on real estate, mm -hmm. twenty fourteen. Two, no, no. Two. I am not a man. Two, I am a man. In position of seventeen point five VAT and national health insurance on pharmaceuticals, mm -hmm. seventeen point five. Abolition of three percent VAT flat rates. Scheme in 2015. In position of 17.5 VAT and NHIL on financial service. Five, no, no. In 2015. In position of VAT on auctioneers and promoters of public entertainment in 2014. Six. In position of 17.5 VAT on the business of gymnasium and spa in 2014. Seven. In position of 15% capital gains tax on petroleum op operations in 2013. Mm -hmm. Reintroduction of 5% national fiscal stabilization levy in uh, 2013. Nine, no, no. In position of special import levy of 1% to 2% on CIA value of some exempt items from 2013. Mm -hmm. Ten. One, uh, outboard motors, mm -hmm. fishermen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fishing nets, agricultural machineries, dairy milking products, energy saving bulbs, book binding machines, cutlasses, and some farming inputs. When you mean tax about When you are not taxing, Muhammad, condoms yes. were taxed. Mm. Corporate tax of 25% on private educational institutions in 2013. Corporate tax of 1% on companies enjoying temporary tax concessions from 2015. 12. Capital gains of companies taxed at 25% instead of 15 from 2015. Okay, how many? But when we are cutlass tax different, yeah, yeah. <laughs> book yeah, binding yeah, tax different, yeah. you get over 20. Even Kaya, the the okay Kaya in Kwakwa, they do thirteen or fourteen. Right. So, Mahama taxes are ojiji. I look up bank. We have a transaction. Now your job seventeen point five percent. But I buy by now V eight. I buy by we train your man to be brave. Yeah. Now when comes to our already do so. In the end, so your man here can just say, "I love ya." Who's going to be that? Can I form a fee? The number of taxes are my bossu. Ah, Mahama, did you hear? Mummy said what he did with it. And Mumji. And I went on so crown, I hear Nipaka Krebi and a tria compared to Elevia, Yetrim, Ama, Obi, or Edge. What do you hear to me? I see. Tax revenue increased by an aggregate of 577.5% during the eight year period of Mahama. They started with Four times, now four point two nine nine point four five one mm. in two thousand eight. In twenty sixteen, it was twenty nine billion one hundred and twenty nine thousand million forty four thousand six sixty nine. As the tax revenue increased consistently during the eight years of the NDC regime, the growth rate has been declining from 2014. The growth rate, yes. with all these taxes that were introduced here, Ghana economy was not expanding. How can this man then tell me, say, on no foundation I will lay, 
Emma, Emma, growth, echo eight percent. He was saying, self foundation, I will lay, yeah, but the whole country has said, Emma, it was 2014, it was declining. Mm. Poor foundation. Mm. How can this man now take credit? Now, the man said something. Or see, Senche, meeting. Yes. Ah, Womukoi. Yes. Took them to IMF. Senche, meeting. Ah, Womukoi. Took them to IMF. Or say, now we are unpatriotic. They are unpatriotic because we knew what they were going to do mm -hmm. to get MPPC and the other signs at Yonko IMF. Yeah, so because we are catching a coup, what is that? Oh, because when you are president, in that. Yeah. so he can't criticize you. And the only other, Aaron Afedi, who are coming in now, who are a boss, who say, "We must in court him." We have to go for any other one. We have to go for him. Then president, in that. So we decided not to go. Who call you? What came out? And he said, "Your economy was in shambles, and therefore you have to seek or sort help." From IMF. IMF. Honorable oh, baby, your kind of critic, ASA, only foundation, and then the map 2070 economy, no echo. So, and we are going Hold on. Not come about, but open to media. Foundation, I will lay, let me say. Independent power producers now all cast and they are doing 1.5 billion. You left a debt of independent power producers at 15 billion Ghana cities, which was 2.5 billion. Nazu means a walker. You could trim one billion. Mm -hmm. Cry because a cup or a trim one billion. And you're not the kind of buy. Now, a company independent power producers, when the whole world was selling for 7% to 9%, Mahama and in a bush of four name chronics were signing at as high as 14%, 15, even 17%. Mm -hmm. Now, financial sector cleanup are all coming. Yeah. What's the according 9 billion? Financial sector cleanup cost us $5 billion. I see that we here, now some of these kind of banks, no? Now, young farmer banks, banks now, no one can say, no, do for a man, you know, you know, you know, and this is for, and go for a man, you know, he was ordered to pay them. Hmm. I sympathize with him a lot. I've, I have all the documents. And Kofu and Yajimena, you ordered them to be paid. And you are persona, Jifa de Nisika Kotu Bank. Economy, I will see Uja, or Papa Maya. Jifa de Nisika Kotu Bank, and now do Sika Kotu Bank. Now, Koibi, I'll do as he can. President Mahama, do you think all of us, Yajimi, I am Kaiwe, Obia Kayo, don't underestimate Ghanaians? Mm. And your wife is that because of world economy, I am who take advantage of the cancer. Financial sector cleanup cost MPP government five billion. And Kofu Sika and Namusuma Bank and Edien, a good father by our betrayal. Let me one more say, Nagana for to be cassa or my wire dinner and my president Mahama to be a cuckoo. I have a country that has the worst economy um, ever. Since the uh, Fourth Republic. Now, let me ask a question. Sir, Professor Bina, Okoka said Ghana is right for cool near you know. Apparently, I'm going to check you. I'm going to check you. I'm going to check you. Yeah, I'm going chief of staff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know executive secretary to Mahama. Good. In this, I'm going to check you. Send me my ear, Yabu Bossi. Taxes are all by me introduce you here. In this country, oh yeah, executive secretary, you know, all signed it. Well, mm. that is intellectual dishonesty. Oh, hey, hey, intellectual dishonesty. Now, me know a man called school crown, one crown of a lee baku, I will convey us law. Oh, yeah, so for me, who come on, go check in the records. How many times that uh, well, yeah, conveyance exams and sound will try. Well, when you know, I'm called normal coin lecturers. Now, we have a problem in this country. We challenge me, sir. We see one fairly conveyance. How many times? Oh, no, I'm a I'm a Ghana frontier. I do a man in a king. I see them come economics and me degree. A QB qualified by experience, and therefore he can't intimidate me with the conveyance of fairly or law school. Anybody a lecture at all? Want to be?
an intellectual dishonesty. Why can't we are executive secretary? Look at the number of taxes that were introduced into this country. I put I have bad businesses so. I'm a home capital. I so shy here. Now 2014, whatever we are experiencing now. And no, no, but make a COVID once I was see just this COVID. Just yes, this COVID. Sano, sano, you see, okay, Bibi said he left money 270 million. Oh, civilization fund. Kofo, and civilization fund, you're 300. Okay. Kofo, euro bond, our G. A bad 